So Homelander was born sometime in the spring of 1981 from the semen of Soldier Boy, who was America's first and greatest superhero. Born with unbelievable powers, he was raised in a lab and was surrounded by doctors like Jonah Vogelbaum, who named him John. In a conversation with Butcher, Vogelbaum remarked that John was a sweet child in his early days and would cuddle up to him. However, needing John to become the strongest soup in the world came at the cost of him turning into a violent, aggressive, wrathful, and downright hateful person. Throughout his childhood, John was put through painful and traumatic physical experiments and surgeries to test the true limits of his abilities. Some of these tests included having his hand forced into a furnace, being boiled alive, and being forced to fight strength-enhanced Vought guards. He was also put under long, strict, and tedious mental conditioning. He was forced to spend hours sitting in front of a projector that displayed images that were chosen to mold his personality, such as the American flag, Jesus Christ, and a baseball game. They wanted to make him patriotic, all-American, and turn him into a symbol of the nation itself. So as a child, Homelander had accidentally killed countless female tutors, the most notable incident of which was in March 1994, when he hugged a woman using far too much strength and ended up breaking her spine and instantly killing her. While these behaviors were usually motivated by indignation, this time it was by isolation-induced depression. At some point during this period, he also developed a sociopathic alternate personality that helped him get through the bad times. Later when he became a superhero, his name was changed from John to Homelander. So Homelander is basically the strongest superhero in modern times. And it's basically his genetics that makes him superior to all other soups. Unlike the other soups who were injected with Compound V after their birth, Homelander was born with Compound V in his system. And he was created by using the DNA of Soldier Boy, who was the number one superhero before Homelander. So basically, Homelander is genetically gifted and superior in terms of all abilities from the moment he was born. Now let's also take a look at his superpowers and some of his main weaknesses. So Homelander is very resistant against physical harm and the most resilient of the seven, if not of all soups. He is not only completely bulletproof, but also unfazed by explosions, such as when Billy blew up the Stillwell residence with him inside it, or the destruction of an entire power plant. According to Madeline Stillwell, there is not a weapon on Earth that has not failed against him, implying that he could also survive nuclear explosions. But this was contradicted by Homelander himself, when he dared Queen Maeve to release the Flight 37 video. He said that he would take out air defenses first, implying he may be vulnerable to anti-aircraft fire or heavy artillery. If he were truly invulnerable to conventional armaments, he would not need to eliminate them. While pursuing Kenji Mayashiro and the boys, Homelander survived having a bus and several large pieces of concrete dropped on top of him without any signs of injury, save for being dirtied from the incident. Billy Butcher theorized that the force of a thermonuclear bomb would be the only thing capable of killing Soldier Boy, who was nearly as strong as Homelander. Maeve even described him as invincible, something he believed himself to be as well, as he dared Victoria Newman to attempt to blow him up. However, it has been shown that his immense durability does indeed have limits because after a brutal fight against Soldier Boy, Butcher, and Huey, Homelander was shown to have a large bruise on his face. Later, while Homelander was able to take numerous punches and kicks from Maeve, they still caused him some degree of harm and even gave him a nosebleed. She also jammed a metal rod into his ear, which ended up drawing blood and causing his ear to ring. So one of Homelander's primary abilities is his tremendous superhuman strength. He is stated to be the strongest man in the world. Homelander casually knocked off the door of a pressurized plane, but he stated he was unable to carry the hijacked plane to safety, suggesting that he is unable to use his full strength in flight, requiring a solid surface to take full advantage of his power. Later, while initially appearing evenly matched with Soldier Boy, Homelander eventually overpowered him with his raw strength, nearly killing him in the process before the intervention of Billy Butcher. Homelander continued to exert his superior strength against the combined might of Soldier Boy and Butcher, and only through Huey joining the fight were the three able to finally bring Homelander to the ground and pinned him down with considerable effort. Homelander, seeing what could be his first ever defeat, was able to break free by knocking back Soldier Boy, Butcher, and Huey, giving him enough time to retreat. So basically, there is no one who is able to defeat Homelander with just their strength in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Homelander told Stan Edgar the view of New York City is better from space, which implies that Homelander has flown far beyond the Earth's atmosphere without any need for oxygen to survive. This feat also confirms that he can likely survive the freezing cold of space and cosmic radiation. So Homelander is able to generate red heat energy from within his eyes and can project it outwards as high-powered beams. These blasts of energy are so powerful that they can cut through almost anything. 
Homelander is most notable for using his optical beams on people, melting flesh and bone with ease and causing people to burst into gore. His heat vision can also likely cut through most soups, and that's why Homelander was hesitating to use them on Stormfront. But he is able to control the intensity of the beams, as shown when he used his heat vision to warm up a bottle of Stillwell's breast milk without damaging the bottle, and also when he used them on Stormfront. When confronted by Billy Butcher and Soldier Boy, he struck Butcher's chest with his optic beams. But rather than bisecting Butcher, or even burning him, the energy beams caused Butcher to fly backward and into a wall, leaving him momentarily stunned by the impact, due to Butcher having given himself temporary superhuman powers via Compound 524. However, against soups of high durability such as Queen Maeve, Homelander's blasts do not seem to have a significant impact. That's because Butcher's heat vision didn't even leave a scratch on Soldier Boy, so Homelander's heat vision would likely have the same effect on Soldier Boy. Homelander can also see through any solid object or surface, with the exception of objects and surfaces that are lined with zinc, implying that he only has low-energy photon X-ray vision. He can even zoom in on things, allowing him to see distant objects, people, and surroundings. When stalking Madeline Stillwell, he used his X-ray vision to see through a wall, and then zoomed in on her slowly to get a closer look. He also possesses an amazing olfactory sense, well beyond that of a human. For both Huey and Starlight, he was able to tell they were nervous by smelling that their adrenaline had increased. He can use his sense of smell to locate explosives. He was also able to smell Billy Butcher's scent on Queen Maeve, thus letting him know they were sleeping together. His hearing is also far beyond superhuman levels, and it allows him to detect sounds from miles away. He can also use this power to detect a person's heartbeat and blood pressure, and can tell when they are excited or anxious. He can hear even the lowest sounds, as he heard A-Train quietly curse him out. So when it comes to his flying abilities, Homelander can fly at extremely fast speeds, but can also move on the ground at supersonic speeds. As a child, Homelander could already break the sound barrier, and now he is fast enough to dodge bullets and disarm multiple gunmen before they could even react. When Butcher decided to detonate the bombs strapped to Stillwell's body, Homelander was able to save Butcher from the blast unharmed. The blast of a C4 bomb moves with a speed of around 23 times faster than sound, so it's fair to assume that Homelander is far more faster than that. So, Homelander is basically kind of a god in his world, and his son Ryan also possesses the same set of powers as him. So basically he doesn't have any serious or major weakness, but there are one or two things that sometimes give him trouble. First one is that Homelander cannot see through zinc. It is very likely that he has only low energy photon X-ray vision. It's a possible reason why he cannot see through the metal. This weakness was exploited by the boys once, when they placed translucence remains in a zinc-lined box so that Homelander would be unable to find it. Second one is his super hearing. So Homenalder's super hearing also makes him vulnerable to intense high-frequency sounds, and his son Ryan also shares this vulnerability. However, unlike Ryan, Homelander is able to function despite the pain it causes him. During a bluster that caused pain to both him and Ryan, Ryan was reduced to helplessness, while Homelander was able to locate and neutralize the source of the sound. So despite being genetically blessed, and having abilities superior to all humans and superheroes, Homelander appears to have a childish tendency to embarrass people that he dislikes but either can't or won't kill, often putting them into humiliating or demeaning situations, while simultaneously putting on the front of being friendly or earnest. Following Starlight's promotion to co-captain of the Seven, Homelander made several attempts to embarrass her, such as having her sing on his birthday while having women in skimpy versions of her costume dancing behind her, or announcing that they were a couple by surprise while knowing that Starlight hates him. Other victims of his harassment include Queen Maeve, who he announced was a lesbian, even though she's actually bisexual on live television without her consent, and The Deep, who he forced to eat a seafood dinner in order to rejoin the Seven. So basically Homelander is not just a superhero or a villain, he is an interestingly messed up character. So what are your views on Homelander? Make sure to tell them in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos like these.